I want you to do this on the serve, the opening of the racket face in the starting position. Now you might be thinking these are just optics, but they're actually mechanical reasons and advantages to your serve if you slightly open the racket face when you start your serve. What you don't want to do under no circumstances close your racket face and extend your wrist like this. Why not? Because there is a chance that as you go up into your trophy phase or trophy position that the racket will end up on the wrong side of the body. There are some players on tour with a neutral position of the racket when they start their serve. And as long as the trophy position is fundamentally sound, meaning that the racket is on the hitting side of the body, there's no problem with that. However, what I find with a lot of recreational plays is that the wrist is very active around the trophy phase and it goes into an extension way too early and now players are left with a waiter serve. So what can help is the following. You slightly open your racket face, which is gonna put your wrist in a slight flexion, which will guarantee you that as the racket goes up into the trophy phase, that it's gonna remain on the hitting side of the body because of this wrist flexion. And now naturally, you will have the correct position of the racket in the trophy phase. Then as you drop the racket, naturally there's gonna be a slight extension of the wrist. So there is a reason why the vast majority of players on tour have their racket face slightly open. Now some players like Roundish have an extreme flexion of the wrist. This is something that's uncomfortable for most players and it's unnecessary. But a slight opening on the racket face which is going to slightly flex your wrist, this is something that I recommend to players of all levels.